We're at IBC 2017. Kirk Harnack and I'm in the booth of Broadcast Bionics. A good friend, Dan McQuillan, is with us. Hey, Dan, how are you? Uh, very good, yes. Uh, we were talking about new ways to interact with the studio and a bit of how that's come about. You want to tell us about that? Yeah, so we've spent about, I don't know, just over 20 years working with broadcasters in terms of bringing initially telephone calls and then it turned into SMS and then social media into the studio. That was the sort of narrow thread of, of how we could get listener interaction. Mm -hmm. More recently, that involved us producing video. So we really started producing things like Virtual Director actually as part of social media because what we realized is people needed video to share from the studio, still images of what was happening. So we started to mix cameras and do all that sort of thing. Right. The work we did with Multi-Object was about taking radio apart and putting it back together to make it searchable, to make it discoverable. Right. So it was taking the best of what we were already doing as radio content in the studio and fitting it for the multi-platform, multi-purpose and social media. But what we realized is as we were producing all of that content, that was going to allow us to do really, really cool things with how we could engage the audience interacting with us and perhaps also us informing the audience of the information we have in the studio. So let me show you something on the other side of the stand where we've put all that together in a way that maybe will make sense to the to the viewers and listeners. All right, Dan, we've moved over here to where the uh, she who will not be named. Oh, we, we've got her muted at the oh, moment, oh. but anybody at home who's got one nearby might want to mute them for this next bit when we start to talk about Alexa and the way that she's changing the role of audio. That's where it is in our homes and yeah. how we interact with it in our homes. The great news for radio is people with one of these smart speakers the number one thing they do is listen to more radio. Yes. So yeah. everyone thinks this smart speaker is all about future platforms. Our content is really popular through these devices. Okay. And what we've done is try to find ways that we can actually make that both more interesting an experience for the listeners and also more engaging with the radio station. So the number one thing you can do through here is shout at the radio, right? We've been doing that for years. <laughs> yeah. Radio is really exciting. So in here, I'm just go, Alexa, tell the studio I'm really happy today. Would you like me to tell the studio? I'm really happy today. Yes. Message sent. So now, Whoa. around the corner over there, on <laughs> phone box, you'll see I'm really happy today. At the moment, it'll say that's come from Alexa. But if I just say, Alexa, tell the studio my name is Dan. Nice to meet you, Dan. So now this Alexa knows my name and all future prompts that I do to and from the studio will understand that they're coming from Dan. Okay. But this is about more than just interaction between the users, being able to shout at the radio and have it hear you. I think one of the main problems we have with radio is what I call frustration. So the radio studio has all sorts of stuff that we know that the listeners might want to know. So I can ask the box, Alexa, ask the studio, who is this speaking? Who is the guest? What show is this? What song is this? Okay. So lots of extra information at the moment we have to give out to everybody. Now somebody in the audience needed to know that somebody wanted to know 10 minutes ago somebody didn't care so yeah. we have all yeah. of this information and now instead of having to guess when they want to know it and who wants to know it you can just request okay what's the phone number for the station exactly how do i email yeah. you yeah. what show is this so i think it's really useful for radio to be able to inform listeners better with content so we can just ask for traffic and travel we can ask for news and weather we can ask for information about songs and the station and shows and guests and really i think create a much more enriched experience for the listener to be informed and if you really get upset or engaged with what's happening happening just shout and it appears straight in the studio so this if somebody wants to get in touch with broadcast bionics and ask about this what's the name of what they're asking about alexa skills or something so yeah this is not specific to alexa so you can also do it on google home oh. or when it comes out shortly the apple home pod oh. uh, so we call it the smart speaker toolkit which is an ugly way of saying it's something that lives in the cloud and allows you to put this either inside your own skill uh, where we handle the bits that your skill didn't understand um, and then we can handle those and answer those questions for you uh, or to put it on platforms like hopefully Radio Player in the UK and maybe Intune and others to have this natively built in so we can send all of these prompts to the studio and get all this information out to listeners at home shouting at the radio. Dan, it's always a pleasure to talk with you and see what amazing things you've come up with. Uh, the website is? Uh, www.bionics.co.uk All right, I'm Kirk Harnack for the Telos Alliance at IBC 2017.